Okay, so it is 441. Let's call the meeting to order. Um, Do we have anybody watching for Republic right now? Um, I think this is everyone. Yeah. Um, it says it's recording, so I guess we are recording. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our meeting. Uh, <laughs> are you going to state our meeting protocol? Are you going to run the meeting, Audrey? Do you want to run? I guess so, but I still don't know what I'm supposed to say for stating protocols. Well, you know I know it? the one thing, well, I don't really either, but the one thing that we do have to say is that it's a public meeting that we are recording minutes. In this case, we're recording digitally, so everyone's faces are being recorded, so that's a disclaimer we have to state. Also, um, that the members of this um, meeting can vote and we can take comments from the public, but no uh, one from the community is able to vote unless you're a member of the Fisher Cultural Council. Um, but we would love to entertain the community's comments. So I know those are some of the few things we need to state. Well, thank you, Tamar, for stating the protocols. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> Um, do we have any announcements? I feel like there was something that I wanted to say, but I don't remember. Oh, Tamar did it. Congratulations. Fantastic job um, on WPKZ. Thank you. That I was funny. <laughs> Here. Yeah, that was amazing. It's always fun. I'm like, I feel like it was a historic moment because Travis is going to be gone, but I really enjoyed being on there with him. It was early. But he was right on the nose, called me right at 7.13. We got on the phone, so it was good. Wow. He's super efficient. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I was impressed. Yeah. So I hope, I hope it helped. It was a little, you know, maybe if Travis could put us in touch with the next person, we should probably do that on a regular basis, too. Just a little yeah. update in there. And it sounded like um, the interview was with Travis and Sherman, right? Uh, he kind of stepped in. It's harder on the phone with three different voices. So um, it was kind of mostly Travis, although what's the other man's name? Sherman. Yeah. He and made Sherman some Oaks. Comments. Yeah. He made some comments. Yeah. But Travis is the one who asked the questions. Yeah. So should uh, we should find his email so that we can connect with him. Thank him. Yes. Um, anything else? Oh, um, I added another thing to the website. Um, oh, and the graphics that you asked me to make, the city has already updated them. Yes. Yeah, um, those are up there. Share screen. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. um, so I found out a way that I could just load up our calendar on the profile. Nice. How does that look? Looks good. Yeah, that's great. I was great. able to customize the, um, whoa, I just zoomed in. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> Um, I was able to customize this color, um, the banner, and change it to Fish for Cultural Council, FCC. Um, but yeah, um, everything else is pretty much the same. That's great. That's awesome. Cool. Um, and then I'll go to the city's website. Really nice they let us do that. I think that's never been done before. Yeah, that's what I hope that that's okay with the cultural council. But you know, um, in order to update it, it's mm -hmm. like kind of like MySpace formatting, <laughs> like, which makes me just like want to add like stupid gifs where like like of a word that's sparkling. <laughs> but I'm like, no, no, that's too far, Audrey. Don't do that. But <laughs> I can embed things on there. I like it. So you're gonna show the city one. Yeah, I'm pulling it up, unless you have it up already. I don't, I don't, but I could. 
Um, but I can't hear, so you go ahead. It's fine. Oh, they changed. We're no longer in the community spotlights. Oh. Why? I don't know. That was so short lived. I think that's what we asked to be, right? Unless they have something more important, which there could be. Can you guys see it? Yeah, they probably put Halloween stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Can you arrows? Are there more? Yeah. Um, Little arrows? Oh, there are. Here we go. Yay. Yay. So, um, Tamar made this graphic. Um, when you click on it, it goes to our lovely Mass Culture page. Um, actually, does this go to the city website? No, we didn't put that link on here. Maybe we should. Should we put the our city page link on on our yeah. Mass Culture page? Okay. Yeah. We'll add that. Um, and where's our city page? Fitchburg Culture. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fitchburg Cultural Council. And here's our page. Got this lovely graphic here. Whoop. What just happened? Did you click the Facebook icon? Apparently I did. Apparently I, I accidentally clicked on it. Um, but you go here and you click applications open for the Mass Cultural Council 2021 grant. Apply for Michael Grant today. Deadline is Monday, November 16th at uh, 2020. Grant training and Q&A on Zoom Tuesday at 11.10 at 6 p.m. And it will, again, take us back to the front page. Great. Great. So we're all under control. Oops. Right. Yep. So for tomorrow, um, you have community Creative meet and greet last preparations. So the four people that have signed up, do we want to put them in an order for Jesse to introduce? Sure. Do I that? am uh, sending the link um, in the chat box so that you guys can all see it. Hold on, I guess I'll make the things I want to share in a separate page, a separate web, web page than, uh, or window rather, than my notes. I can do both. Just not the good, good, good. Oh. Yeah. It's not working for me. Oh. Wait, hold on. Maybe. Uh, yeah, it, it has works. to be um, whatever uh, email that you are. Well, you have to be like kind of like logged into the drive. Yeah, it looks like I'm logged in, I guess. Mm hmm. You should be able. We have four. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Oh, Tara and Derek, that's great. Yeah, I, was saying, I know two of them. So what order do you want to put them in, Jesse? Does it, um, let me look at their... If you click on individual, then you can see, like, specifically who said like what they're gonna do. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe, cause there's two musicians kinda. Spread them out. Alter them. I mean, uh, yeah, alternate them. Alternate. Maybe we should close with Derek. That's or, a good idea. Mm -hmm. Might also have to do with like who is there. That's the other part, yeah. But we could also like give some time um, to at least make sure that all the people that sign up um are on the call but after like what 15 minutes uh we should definitely start the event yeah and i mean because who knows who might just come but it's also just doing introduction because it's meet and greet do yeah. introductions and which could take a long time or none at all <laughs> but yeah we want people to be able to share what their art is and yeah, so is that worth doing, like maybe spending, well, we want to let people arrive, right? So, 
just kind of chat for five or 10 minutes and then maybe do quick in introductions and then go into, and maybe somebody else will sign up too. Did they have a? Yeah, I was thinking that in the chat, um, once the event begins or like when, um, when an, every time a new person joins, um, resubmitting that link so that um, we can say, if you would like to showcase something. Yeah. Um, sign up here. And there's a possibility that some people are just kind of going to, they're going to wait until the actual event to sign up because they're not sure whether or not they'll be able to make it. Or trying to decide what they want to perform or if they feel courageous enough. <laughs> yeah. So Jesse, so you'll do opening remarks and maybe let everybody know about the grant cycle. And then we can put in the chat, like how to apply, where to apply, all that stuff. And then you're thinking you'll run through introductions of everyone on the screen. Yeah. And then you'll go into the sh talent showcase. Yeah, that seems reason. Does that seem, yeah. I mean, I think if we had a really long list, we would have to get right to it. But I think because it seems manageable, even if another four people sign up, I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Um, Should we give them three minutes or like five minutes to help well, I mean, because I guess what if, if they're performing a song, would a song? I mean, probably don't want to like cut them off. But I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Unless it's like, oh, we thought that it was going to end a minute ago. Oh, oh, now it's another minute. Oh, no, this is a seven, seven minute guitar riff. <laughs> um, Since we, yeah, don't have a massive amount of people, I think it'll be fine. Play by ear. Yeah, I mean, but maybe giving them a, I mean, five minutes seems, actually, that seems long. I mean, I, mean, I don't think it, if they're, if you're, they're just talking about their art, that might take a lot less. So maybe say three to five minutes so that they don't feel a pressure to do it for five minutes, but, um, and then just say if it takes less, you can take less time, but, but then encourage them to put in the chat any, I mean, I know we have them fill out the forms, but you know, if they want to put in the chat any Instagram or website or, um, and anybody, actually, maybe that's just something part of their introductions. Anybody who's here, just, um, yes, put Instagram, website, Facebook. That is included in their form. So uh, we yeah. could also um, put together something that like, you know, uh, highlights how you can find them. Well, I think it would be better if they put it in there because they may not want everyone to have their phone number or their email, but oh. maybe they do. Yeah, yeah like I just met their website and their Instagram well, or, and, like, their, and their social media. And the um, just people who aren't performing in that way it's all in one. If we can have the chat, then it's all in one space. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. Um, I also think it's really good during like any kind of event um, that whoever shows up, like when they when they pop up to greet them um, by name. Uh, I was telling Tamar about this, like how. A little while ago, I did like a story, a story writing webinar that had like, um, that was like for one week, it had as little as like 300 people to as much as like more than a thousand people on it. And on day one, that, that had the most people. And I felt kind of like, all right, I'll just like kind of hide in here. Like, you know, I'll see what this is about. Day two, I was like, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll stay, maybe I won't, but I was one of the first people that, like, signed on, and so they were like, Audrey, how are you, like, how's your week going, and I was like, oh, uh, they're talking to me, I can't just, like, slip away here, or, like, now I'm, like, part of this, so yeah. I think that's a good thing to do. Okay. And then it totally made me, like, invested to stay for, uh, I think I'm, I made it to almost all of the meetings, all except for one. In which I watched the recording afterwards. All the art stewards meetings to for training, right? That should be 
you've got it down. So this is perfect. <laughs> So maybe you'll know everybody too, which is really helpful. Well, it's, I, although I only, I, there are two names on that list I didn't recognize. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, did everyone invite people to like all of their contacts to the Facebook group, uh, Facebook event? Mm -hmm. nope. I didn't yes. Tamar, don't forget to do that. I'll do it right now. What's really cool about, like, one thing that is cool about the new Facebook update is that, like, it will actually break up your invites to, like, you can be, like, all the people in this group yeah um, that I'm friends with. So, like, I was able to go, like, all the people in Discussing Fitchburg Now that I'm friends with, invite just them so that yeah. you don't have to do that whole, like, sifting through thing where you're like, oh, well, that person, they're from New York, so that's right. not helpful. And uh, this one, uh, I just, like, went through the groups and, like, okay, all my friends there <laughs> yeah I had to create I just created an art steward event and the model module is a little wacky yeah but whatever do we want to have any like maybe like intro music playing like while people are coming in i don't even know how that works with zoom like if that would compete with us talking or not but i don't know i think i was just at a webinar where but they they had like a screenshot up and some music playing and then were people yeah. able to talk no but it was it was also like for hundreds of people so yeah. I think I think the music mitigated the fact you were staring at one panel of a slideshow for four minutes while they were letting everyone in. Yeah. So what do you I was just thinking you... like, you know, similar to in person, you know, like it like you have some background music going. Like um it was fun during the uh grant training webinar where no, uh, community input meeting when Eddie was um, one of the first people that was there. And he was like, I'll just, uh, you know, I can play the guitar uh, while we wait to begin. <laughs> so he just put on like a little live performance um, as people trickled in. And so that was fun. <laughs> but since the talent showcase isn't going to begin until most of the people are there, we don't have a... Uh, yeah, Could we ask Eddie to come on and play for five minutes? Say that again? Could we ask Eddie to come on and play for five minutes and then Jesse starts oh. at like five? He could be our opener? Yeah. We could. I mean, Eddie's pretty good about coming to these like cultural council events and different events, but he has not responded to this one. I'm not sure if he said that he... Maybe he said that he was interested, but he def I definitely didn't see him on the yes, I'm coming list. Okay. Another idea would be maybe um, creating a, um, a playlist, um, oh. either like on Spotify or something like that, and just like, you know, sending like of like, you can listen to this. Well, that, that might be fun, actually. Yeah. Or if we can find like, even like, um, something to play off of like YouTube live or something like that. So that way everyone synced up to the same music. <laughs> that would be fun. I don't know how to control that with, how would you like, you would oh. actually just play it from the computer? I guess so. Yeah, would you have to just share your screen or something and? I was just thinking that we just send people the link so that they can have that on oh. while they're on the Zoom call as well. And then hopefully, like, um, if it was something that was like um, a live link, then the the music could stop during the performances as well, like during the musical performances. But it could come back up if someone's just talking about their artwork. But it would be, know, that might be too complicated. It would be really awesome if um, we could have any play or somebody play like local. I think. What about that guy, Jesse? Well, that might be awkward. That guy named no what's his name? Noel. Noel. Yeah, the classic musician. That's. He, yeah, but he has an ensemble, so I don't know. Oh, I don't okay. know if he does anything. So I mean, he he's very. 
very proud of his music, but I think to get his ensemble together would probably take take too long. Yeah. But I mean, Eddie's okay. pretty, if, if Eddie could do it, I'm trying to think of anybody else. I wonder if, um, if there's like someone that is a grantee, um, if they can't make it, maybe they could just send us a video That's an idea. and we could just share that video, um, of them playing, um, as people come in. Just because like, um, <laughs> we only, we, so far we've gathered four people yeah. to take one of them away, <laughs> you know, yeah. or to, or if, um, they haven't responded yet, maybe it's because they're unavailable. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do we have it? I mean, we could look and see what, if our grantees have a YouTube with performances. Um. This is hard. Oh, you know who I wonder if she would play? What if Jennifer would? Oh, if she's available. Yeah, I, I guess Let's... we could just uh, reach out to some of them and send them the showcase sign up sheet, but like offer them like, you know, if you are available um, and you let us know soon, like we can have you be our opener. in which they might have more than five minutes. <laughs> Actually, I think, you know what? I think without even, um, why, I know Jennifer has something on YouTube. Oh. I know she does somewhere. I think you're right. I feel like she shared that not too long ago. Yeah, so I think um, that's what we should do. And maybe- it might be easier. And that way, Jesse, it could just um, play as everyone's waiting. And if you felt like doing an introduction and saying um, that it's Jennifer Jones and she's the treasurer of the Fishburg Cultural Council, that's a nice way to interject and maybe get started. Maybe the cultural alliance. alliance? Yes. <laughs> okay. I was like, I don't know Jennifer Jones, but she's not on the cultural council. <laughs> yeah, the cultural alliance. She's been. She basically is the president, but she, she's the acting, like she's, anyway. You know what we could do? We could even create a YouTube playlist so that it could be multiple songs too. Like it could be Jennifer Jones songs, it could be Eddie songs, other grantee music. I don't know. I don't want to overcomplicate things. Yeah, good cocktail, don't. good cocktail hour party, like background music, I guess. <laughs> okay. Open mic intro music. I think I'll just have to look her up, right? Isn't it on the Cultural Alliance? Um, is it the YouTube? Didn't you put that on the YouTube? I feel like we did. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, let me go to her website, the website, and look because I know Fishburg Cultural Alliance. So Jesse says hello. Are we just have music playing? Jesse says hello and introduces everything. She introduces everyone. Then you go through the four talent showcases. And then, or before that, before the talent showcases, you're gonna mention the grant cycle. We'll have everything in the chat. And then after the talent, then we, what do we do next after that? Um, we, if people want to pitch any ideas, um, that's the next thing after the showcase. Where they oh, there's something in the the Google oh. form about that, right? So we know. Yeah, and I think uh, I think some people have um, responded to that, so that's cool. Yeah, um, they have some things that they want to talk about. And then we kind of pair people up and put them in rooms to talk more in depth. Yeah. So far, it looks like the type of people that people want to meet is uh, musicians, 
um, gardening groups and other artists um, and people who have connections to venues, those who can uh, need any of my services, which I have to see who said that because then I have to see what their services are. <laughs> right, are they looking for a place to display work or to perform or, yeah. Okay. And so that, that should get us at our time, whatever that time is. We'll have plenty of time with only four people performing, I think, right? With only yeah. four. And you know, if we have extra time, they could do an encore later on. Hmm. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's fun. Maybe do it after networking or do another, or? I would after networking. Within. Okay. Yeah, because you also just don't want to lose people's yeah. focus, yeah. Okay, so the person who said that need any of my services, um, their services are um, video editing um, and producing, no, and their animator. Um, and they're a stand-up comedian and painter, illustrator, photographer, and collage artist. Um, sorry, I sent the wrong link I meant to send. Here's the link I meant to send. So that's Jennifer. And she's got her stuff on SoundCloud, which is cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it's very pretty. Am I doing that? No, that's Am I me. playing it? I'm playing it. Oh, you're playing it. Wait a minute. We can, like, everyone say something. Oh, no, the music just stopped, so I can't hear it now. Here, I'll play it again. Go ahead. Yeah. Oops. That's loud. <laughs> It just kind of like quiets down when their voices. Mm -hmm. And if it's just in the background, then that's not terrible. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> Tamar, does that mean you want to do music? No, I don't want to do <laughs> DJ. I don't mind. I mean, that's pretty chill stuff too. So if there's a young crowd and they're going to want something more poppy, I don't know. We can we can put we can put on the Calvin Harris item, but that doesn't really fit because he's not from Pittsburgh. <laughs> but it's, go ahead, sorry, Jesse. I was saying, but we do have the performers too, so they could be a little more. Yeah. Um, I I can put together a playlist. Um. Yeah. I can do that. Did she? Do, um, does she have a YouTube link as well? Was that on there? Oh, no, yes. she's oh, SoundCloud. No, SoundCloud, okay. I, I mean, she's got a SoundCloud playlist. Is that a thing? <laughs> she's got one in the footer of her website that says it's a YouTube icon, so maybe, I don't know. Oh, there it is, yeah. I actually have never really listened to Jennifer's music, so that was interesting. Very beautiful. Um... Cool. Okay, so we kind of have a little, yeah, there she is on YouTube. Let me see where it goes. Anyway, if you want to do a playlist, I'm okay with that. I also am okay with just um, playing that stuff. And do we want to keep people on silent when we all come, when they come in? Or do we want to let them turn their mics on and talk? I or say how do let you want them to turn on their mics and talk. Yeah, Jessie? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I'm... I'm fine with that. Cause that way, like once they come on, we can immediately um, greet them instead of conversation. 
Okay. So the music is going to just play in the background, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Because um, okay. It, it'll just kind of like, the sound will just go down whenever people are saying things. All right. So it's my link. So I have an interview as crazy as this is from six to seven. I'm going to try to get, and it's Colette and she talks a lot. So we'll, I'll try to get us off by 645, but just know, it, hold on. It's a different link, right? It is, right? Yes. So I've got to get off my other event and on to this event. So I will try to wrap up early tomorrow so that we have a few minutes prep before we start letting people in. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to, I like to let people in at the time. So not before. It's just easier to kind of have a little bit of like management time online to get you guys or whatever um, host co-hosts. So but, um, us three can be on there early. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be online anyway. It's just going to take me a second to switch out of one and then up start the other. And my computer's not as fast as it should be. So I'll do my best. Um, yeah. And then we'll be, well, then we can get started. So your next agenda item was the community input debrief. Oh, yeah. I didn't um, get that, so. You didn't what? I didn't get to attend that, so how did um, it go? Um, well, it's online, it's on Facebook. Um, uh, let's hear, I had some notes about social media on there. Someone said, um, our social media is, um, doo -doo -doo. some of the information on the social media is not up to date, um, which I'm not sure what specifically they were talking about. I did update a couple things. Like I noticed on our group page, the about me, or like the d group description, it had our old email address, but that wasn't terribly out out of date at that point. Um, and we updated our website that has, so it says the correct years for it. Um, mm -hmm. I know that there's, on the Instagram, there is a link tree, um, which I don't really know anything about link tree, but I guess you click on it and it like shows a bunch of different important links on there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably also out of date. Um, <laughs> Is everyone connected to the Instagram now? I believe so. I don't do anything with it. I see. can't remember. I will go look back through my. Um, so, so once you connect to our right, Instagram um, on our Facebook, via Creative Studio, it'll allow you to post something both on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. Um, so that way our Instagram is also active. It just, um, sometimes it's an adjustment because you want to just post a link, but Instagram needs a image with it. Yep. Um, so what were, so that was the feedback that we got is that we're not up to date. We're not up to date. They wanted us to post more on Instagram. Um, yeah. I think there were people who weren't used, like as active Facebook users wanted some more People who use Instagram and not Facebook. Yeah. So why don't they give us content? <laughs> <laughs> like send us, send us photos send us, or what do you mean? Yeah. Like, you know, if they want to see more then you know, like we're supposed to be promoting local events. So if they have something going on, they should ping us so we can share it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, we're volunteers, so just saying. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's, like, we're here to help with, like, supporting community stuff, so, um, yeah. I don't know, so, but I wasn't there to, get to hear the comment, but that's one thing I would, would say back to everyone is, if they've got cultural things happening or they know of things happening, they should really ping us so that we can help be supportive. Um, yeah, we could, um, ask them to send us an image, um, so that we could just post that. 
Yeah, um, well, we could just if they just um, ping us. So let me just yeah, like the like the art museum would be an easy one actually. <laughs> Jesse, does you guys have you guys have an active account? So we could do that. Jesse, are you, or um. Are either of you, do either of you use Instagram like a lot? Like I only use Instagram for like business accounts, like for the cultural accounts or for here's escapers for like, you know, like I don't use it like personally. I use, I do my Natasha pictures. That's pretty much what I do. Um, <laughs> but um, maybe she'll come tomorrow. He should totally come. <laughs> I mean, uh, Jesse, if you want to be like, if you want to do a, like a little like walking tour of the art museum <laughs> when this your talent showcase i think that would be really cool except i'm not here tomorrow oh, oh. well yeah. maybe we can film it in advance <laughs> and then and then just like share that video and be like this is the pitchburg art museum this is how you can get involved there, yeah actually i think one of the pitches derek is going to make is a museum uh, a co-production we're doing so yeah very nice um but oh i was saying but i i do have access to the bitch the fam instagram so maybe we i it's some i think there are opportunities for us to also tag the cultural council in our posts yeah so um well, my question was when people share an Instagram post, are they just screenshotting it and then sharing that as the image? Like, what do they do? So there's a, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's an app you can go, um, it's called repost. I'll do it right now. It's called repost. And in the little three dots in the top right, you grab it and it says copy link. And then you go into your repost app. Let me see if it's going to load on my slow phone. Why is everything in my life slow? I just look, I'm just having the worst time lately. Um, there it goes. It loads. And then you grab it. Watch. I'm going to do it right now. Hold on. Where, where are we watching? Well, I'm going to, uh, do you have your phones? Yeah. So Should open I just go on the cultural council page or something? Go to the, hold on a second, Gallery Sitka page. Okay. And I'm going to share the Cultural Council's event. Okay. For tomorrow. And I'm going to go join us. And then I'm going to go, okay, share. Oh, there it is. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It only showed on the the first image, so it doesn't show um because uh, oh. I I posted five, but that's that's really cool. Is that yes. how? I saw hmm. that. I think it was Emanuela that posted it back in the day. Um, she shared a post that actually has like an animation on it. Did she use, did she probably use repost app in order to do that? Was it a Instagram video? Oh, she shared one. Yeah. So she shared Mill, activate Mill Street. That, that, one, looks, yeah. that looks like it's a re, like the one that I just did actually. So you can do that too. That's cool. But then some of these are screenshots. So yeah, you can kind of usually tell when they're screenshots. Yeah. So yeah, so that's the way to do it. There's okay. a, it's just an app, it's called Repost, and um, you can get rid of the text that says with Repost, which I can actually get rid of right now, saying how you're reposting it. Not okay. that that really matters, but. Um, yeah, so that's it. So that's what I was saying. If some organization or a person in the community is like, we want to see more stuff, all they would need to do if they have an event is tag the council and then we can just reshare their post. So that would be one really easy way for us to That's a good have idea. More, more content. So 
I guess maybe in social media, that's something to tell, to like put say, and I can do that. Uh, remind people to share and tag us. Yeah. Make a, um, make a Instagram post about it. Yes. So I will do that after tomorrow. Okay. As a reminder for people in the community. What else did they say? Oops. Um, so they were saying how it would be really great if, um, the cultural council page was a place for all sorts of cultural events around Fitchburg. Um, that they were like, oh, well, you just started showing up, making posts about the movie nights, and then you just stopped, and I was like, oh, that was me. <laughs> Because I got too busy <laughs> because because everything happened at that time. Um, it, it, so th that was something and, and they were saying like, well, you know, you can find like you can find different cultural events from all sorts of different places, but it would be great if there was like one specific place where you could find all of them. Um, which I think it would be awesome if we could do that, but it just seems, it's, it's like a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It's like the community calendar is a lot of work that Joe deals with and it's a lot less now, but. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then there's Alliance and the Alliance is trying to pull everything from everybody too that's a member. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. So yeah. that's why I was like, and Francisco wanted there to be like a cultural bulletin that goes out with all the events, like all different artists. It's, it's almost like there needs to be, which there isn't. And I don't think it's the cultural council's job to be like a press, a press entity that's just pushing out constantly. Cause it's like a full-time, it's like you need an editor then somebody who yeah. can like, spend their time pulling, 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 and then like pushing it out again. Cause that's what the community calendar does. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're great suggestions and that's a situation where it would be like, well, you guys could volunteer. We could use some more help, you know? Like, yeah. Hmm. Well, and it's, yeah. Cause it's also collecting. You mean like join the council? Yeah. Oh, um, was it Veronica, um, Tamar, you were on that same meeting where she was saying that like we could also like have like uh, non-member people um, be admins for the cultural oh. council. But I think they would be like, they're usually like paid people to either do like bookkeeping or maybe like website stuff or mm. I or guess like, like theoretically if we want to pay someone to do our social media, that kind of thing. Yeah, but even still, this is, I guess, the problem that Joe's talked about with the community calendar, too. There's, like, so much that actually does go on in Fitchburg, especially non-COVID times, and to, like, find everything, organize it, and get it in one place, it's actually a lot. It's a full-time um, job. <laughs> yeah. Especially when things are really busy. Like, right now is one thing, but, like, once we're past COVID, we'll be back. To, I think after COVID, things are actually going to go insane because people are gonna be like tired of being stuck, tired of not performing, tired of not being out. And it's gonna be like, oh yeah. Beyond what it was before. Do you, I don't, that's yeah. what I, I think it's gonna be like madness when we get past this. Yeah. So maybe now is a good time to put something in place. Like, yeah. You know, maybe our email address because we have a secondary email that becomes like here's a place to submit your press release or your information or your event and then we put it back on people like they have to get it to us for us to share you know certainly we could share what we can find which is what i was thinking with vanessa like if the museum like i get the newsletter we could just take and regurgitate that on the pool we get the alliances we could put that up there on facebook like some of these organizations that are already doing it, as long as we're on their newsletter lists, then we can share everything. Mm -hmm. But maybe it would be good for us to like even set up a PR email or something and tell people, if you want your stuff shared here, we would love to share it. Please email it. Does that sound like too much? Is or even there, if they have their page. Is there like a... um. I could 
this Google form, well, because, you know, I want to promote our, at least our grantees um, events um, to have them like send us, um, you know, I can just like send them that link and, and then I have all the correct information. I can put that on there. Um, I don't think through Google Forms you can ask them to submit images, but that would be great. But they could through Facebook Messenger. Yeah. There's, I mean, so even if they're emailing us, we could, they could email us an image too. So I'm trying to, um, I can't, there is, Worcester used to have, actually it was managed by um, the guy who did the No Evil Project. Mm -hmm. Like he had like a master calendar of things that were going on in Worcester, but it was on the person, it was on you to go and enter it. But then he had like a funnel so that it went to the Worcester Telegram. It went to, it went to all the calendar sections of the major publications, but it, it, it was an online form and I can't remember what it's called, <laughs> even though I think it's bookmarked on my computer somewhere. Um, but it was, it, he did the back, he did, yeah. he did the work, but then just, just the same line. Um, yeah, that I've talked to, I've talked to Joe about how I really want to someday create a Boston calendar type thing. Have you guys been on the bostoncalendar.com website? Um, can't remember. Whenever I'm like, I want things to do. I always, that's like one of the first places that I go to if I'm going to be in Boston. Let me see. Jesse, um, could you get that, look at that up or that yeah. person? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to look through my bookmarks now. It's been so long since I've done it. But um, I also, I'm, you know, I, I still talk to Troy too, so I could ask him how he does it. Um, I know it changed when the Telegram changed ownership, so I think he has less press contacts, but, um, oh my goodness. But yeah, yeah, I think that I, would I be perfect. To, like, overall, I that's like this, but it would take some work, but um, the reason why I bring it up is because Joe was like, you know, like maybe um, you could use the Cultural Council administrative funds towards creating a cultural event calendar like this in which like people can submit their um calendar listings and stuff like that i just found it, Got it. Oh. oh it's like a craigslist old yeah old. it's very it's very old old <laughs> but um <laughs> that said it like i said it also funnels into so many it's almost just like a way that you can immediately have your event go to all these different other, all these other places. Yeah, because yeah. I, I think he also goes to like the college, because you know, there's seven colleges there. So it like funnels into their things to do and. Um, Add event, modify or delete event, places to go, people to meet, I love it. Simple, yeah. simple, simple. Yeah. So we need to do something like this. Yeah. And then we need to get the Alliance and the museum and the historical society and the school and all these people on feeds. Yeah. Well, I think like when I, um, that's why I'm, so I, cause I would put in my events, um, for fam and I must've stopped at some point. That's why I took, when I stopped having events, um, still working, Jesse, is this thing still, it does still work, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's good. Um, so we should probably put the creative meet and greet on there, huh? Yeah. Because so here's a question. Hmm? Sorry. So I was just going to say, here's a question. Um, is it he that built this thing or is it something that he, that exists and he used, uses it? I'm not sure. I just know that he manages it. So I'm not I know he's a web designer, so he might have built it. But I can send him a question and ask him. This is like really good bones. Like we can like just like customize it. Um, but yeah, sounds like a lot of great things on here. Well, we should find out. If you don't mind, Jesse, would you mind asking him? Yeah, I might. I'll wait. Might wait until after tomorrow's yeah. over. But yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. So 
make sure that's in the minutes and then we can for our next meeting like we can figure this out but that would be very cool um okay, and, and again that would put it back on the members of the community to give us the information not making us go find it because that's what i think we need to avoid it's yeah. like the grantees we want to promote the grantees once that cycle starts but um yeah i think for now it shouldn't like the community shouldn't depend on us to go find them they should find us and then we should help support them kind of so yeah. we need to figure out a, i guess a way if that's one of the complaints a way to fix that to yeah start a um, cycle in the meantime when someone says that what we can do um, very easily, what, what I've been trying to tell people is um, promote your events on our Facebook group. If mm. you write a post um, and the preview of it shows up, like how it does on here with our creative meet and greet, if you go to our events, any of those posts like just automatically show up. And oh, nice. So like I didn't formally put National GOE Day on this group. It's just that um, Kanisha posted about it and it showed up on here. So. So then we could share it to our main page if we wanted to, right? Once it's in there. Uh, yeah. Like you mean like take what? like uh, you see that it's here and then you can share it. Uh, add to event, save report event. You can't even save it. No, but what you can do is you can add it to the page. Yeah. And then it shows up in our events. Um, it can be a little bit confusing because it could look like that, like it's cultural council events, but it could also just be group events. But it is doing kind of like double the work um, because if it's already in the group, um, which is fairly similar to the page. Yeah, I feel like we should tell them to put it on the group, but then they should submit a message to our Facebook page so that we'll know to share it. Yeah. You know, and like put it back on them. So maybe you even, after these events are over and the training is over, maybe we pin a note in the group that says, if you'd like us to share your cultural event, please post your event here and send our Facebook page a message so we can share. Where, um, where would we be um, sharing the event? Because they would already have shared it on the group. Or the actual Facebook Share it on our Facebook page. Okay. I don't know. Um, Does it make them be in charge like of doing those? <laughs> I think we should wait on all that until our stuff is over with. Yeah until these events are over with. Yeah, kind of have a lot of things ready. Well, I would like to make a motion to adjourn unless, unless we could. All right, I will I'll see you next week. Oh, great, thank you. Justice making a motion to adjourn with uh, her coworkers. Sorry, I, I had to say, um, just when we leave, we have to clean things. So I was just getting the rundown of always clean. Anyway. No problem. So do we have like a roster of what we're doing tomorrow? A little list of how we're going to do it? That was the, the Google sheet, right? So I'll just alternate the musicians and I'll check it because I can still access that link tomorrow, right? Now that you've shared oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. I'll, just, I'll, I'll look like around lunchtime and see if but yeah I'll just plan to alternate the musicians and if anybody I don't know if anybody will request to go first <laughs> but yeah 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 if anyone wants to go first then you could do it that way as well cool yeah um for the speed networking um Tamar did you want to do just like start one room and then they you know they network for a little bit and then they can move around for like the rest of the time for like 40 minutes or um or yeah, do we want to like send them out of it and then like shuffle them again 
Well, I think it would be fun to bring them back to conclude, okay. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So we have well, a little control. Of it. So yeah. we like send them out and then tell them if they want to move around, they're free to do so. And they'll have like however much time we, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and then we'll bring them all back and just regroup and say good night. Right, kind of right now we've set aside about 40 minutes for it. Um, 20, so our current schedule, obviously it depends on how many people are there um, and how many announcements need to be made. But right now we have seven to 8 p.m. is talent showcase. Um, 8 p.m. to 8.20 is pitching a project. We can also re, um, do our announcements again of our you know, grant season and stuff like that. Um, and then 8.20 p.m. to 9 p.m. is speed networking. Okay. Yeah. I guess it depends yeah. on the people we have. Yeah. Yeah. Because if that's what I was thinking, if if we have forty minutes and we don't have that many people and people get bored, I don't know. I don't want to lose people, unless we do like closing remarks before we close out, before we do the groups, and then say like enjoy your groups, and feel free to shuffle around, and we're gonna close the meeting at X time, kind of like that, mm -hmm. and then I don't know. Maybe we I can think do that if someone, like, you know, before they want to leave or whatever, um, have them leave the breakout room, but, like, come back to the main area so that we can see, like, oh, okay, a bunch of people seem like that they're done with this. Um, let's call, call everyone back and say, thank you so much for coming to the event. If you want to continue, like, networking, you are free to do so, but we just want to, you know, conclude the event I guess okay we'll see how it goes all right yay all right so I'm gonna make a motion to conclude all right uh, in favor <laughs> all right uh, meeting adjourned at 5 38 p.m all right thanks guys see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow.